The Business Times published that gold slumps as China's central bank halts 18 months buying spree, ending a massive buying program. Is there still demand for gold by the central banks around the world? And if gold is heading for a correction? We will study into some data on the central banks around the world, their interest in precious metal, and how to trade gold during this period of correction. My name is Kon Hao. My work in this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into the subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. So is China cashing out on the gold market? And let's try to understand with these three terms: gold holding, gold reserve, and total reserve. And let's start with the gold reserve. Gold reserve is defined as the absolute amount of gold held by countries. And in this image, we could see that China ranked number six in position with a total holding of two thousand. Two hundred and thirty-five tons of gold, and let's try to discover the other term. The second term that we have to know is the total reserve. It's like whatever cash that、uh, a nation have, and it is defined as a combined value of all types of reserve, including gold, foreign currency, the SDR, and the reserve position in I IMF. And we can see that. China ranked number one, surpassing all the other nations with 3.4 trillion U.S. dollars of almost like a cash reserve that they have in all sorts of asset classes. And let's look at the last term, and we will discover if China still have an appetite to invest in gold. And the last term is the gold holding. It states that it is a proportion of total reserve that are in gold. And what China has is ranked the lowest among these nations, at four point three three percent. It means that the fiscal goal that they have, divided by their total reserve, current standing is just at four point three three percent. And from my analysis, I will just have to take it as they still have a lot of cash, which is what we'll discuss here, to invest in gold when the price. And the time is right, as what they have stated, 2004 is a bit too expensive to pay for gold at this point in time. But I believe that in time to come, when the price is right, they may continue to invest in gold. They are also adopting a strategy that when I see a value in the assets, I will love to accumulate them. They are using a dollar averaging up strategy on their wins. That's what I'm seeing here. And from all this data. I can see that they still have appetite for gold again when the price and time is right. Now let's discover about some trading strategy. And first, let's look at a little bit on the long term. And that's what we're seeing here for the gold is the three months chart and、um, how to draw this trend line. And I have this strategy to find at least three significant trough. And this is what I call the effective trend line. And later on, we're going to qualify if This trend line is really that effective. Now we saw one trough here, two trough, three trough, and I will have to experiment it、uh, before I know that this trend line is effective or not. And what I do is I try to clone this, and I'm going to place this here. And this could be the future、uh, potential resistance, but is still quite far away from that potential that we could see here. And I'm going to continue to clone this. To project the parallel channel, and this could be the next immediate resistance that we're seeing here, in all the significant peaks. Now realize that I'm using all the significant peaks here, and where's the other next significant peaks here? And I'm gonna clone this, and we could see that this was a significant peaks here. We'll just join them a little bit here, and I could see that it's very close to the resistance right now. And for the support, what I'm going to use here is that,、um, I, and I will say that this effective uptrend line、uh, is I have to qualify this because as I see some relationship, it kind of in line. I could see that there's a strong relationship, and and I will qualify that this is effective. And let me just do one more thing here because 
I believe that gold may correct based on the fundamental news. And some of you may know that I like to always uh, confirm both together with fundamental news and technical to find that there's a, a proposition to sell short or to buy on dips. So in the long run, I would still prefer to buy on dips on gold. There's a fundamental reason as stated in my previous videos. But in the short term, because of that news that China has been finding that gold is a bit too pricey at 2004. They may not buy gold for this season. So what I believe is that let's go to the daily chart. And I'm going to apply the same strategy with how we uh, draw the uptrend line at, with at least three significant trough. And this is what I'm going to project here. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing at least one significant trough, two, uh, uh, maybe three, four, five, a, a few here. And I would say that this is, uh, I may want to qualify this as an effective uptrend line. But what we read about the news on the BT is that China stopped buying, stopped buying gold at all in the month of May. And I'm not too sure about June. The data has not been published yet. But based on this fundamental reason, and we know that last year China and this year was a big buy in the gold, but because of they stopped buying in May, and I believe that they may have some correction in the goal to come. But if you still remember earlier on the monthly chart or the quarterly chart, the goal generally is the uptrend. So what I'm going to do here for my short-term trade to the mid-term trade, I may consider to sell into strength or even deploying buy puts for the goal market. But definitely over the long term, uh, this is what I'm going to do here. And later on, we're going to study about the image here is that it, are the central banks around the world still interested in gold through that uh, this image that I'm going to discover here. But what I'm going to do here is this. Uh, let me just clean this up and clean this up. Where I believe in the short term, the market may have some correction. Uh, but along the timeline, uh, I believe that I still prefer to buy on dips, but for the time being, in the short term to mid term, I would love to sell on strength. And I do believe that in the long run, the goal may continue to move up. And let's discover why is that so. Now let's look at the last image here. And these are the purchasing position by the central banks around the world. Only the central bank around the world. Now let's study about the last uh, decades since about 2010 to 2022, um, the central banks around the world have been buying gold. But we could see that since the second quarter about there, in 2022, the central banks around the world start to have a great interest in accumulating gold. <laughs> and I would say that at the close of first quarter, if not China, the rest of the central bank are still interested in accumulating gold. For the fundamental reasons, you could visit my uh, some of the past videos. I described the fundamental reason why gold is still valuable. But for the short term, um, I believe that gold is may have some correction for the short term. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I'd love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that you stay through this tutorial. You have many great trading weeks ahead.